Uh, welcome uh, uh, back to this our fifth session, uh, which is our lesson five, and uh, this is the chapter five where we are going to look at uh, the tax administration, uh, tax procedures. Uh, in brief, uh, when we talk of tax administration, we want to ascertain or we want to find out uh, how the taxes uh, have to be recovered by RRA. Uh, how uh, the taxes have to be recovered by the tax administrators. Uh, therefore, under the tax administration, we need to check uh, the tax assessment, uh, tax assessment, uh, tax assessment, we need to check on the tax uh, declaration, and we find out how the taxes, uh, tax corrections, tax corrections, or tax corrections, or tax payments. So this is what we normally, uh, this is what normally makes up the definition of tax administration. Uh, first of all, let us look at what is tax assessment. Tax assessment, uh, tax assessment, uh, tax assessment uh, is just is just the calculation, is just the calculation, uh, the calculation of uh, the calculation of uh, taxes and uh, the penalties dues, the penalties. Uh, due. This is the tax assessment. So from the tax assessment, uh, we normally check what they call the, the self-assessment, the self-assessment, uh, the self-assessment and assessment and assessment by the tax administrators uh, tax and by the tax administration so there is RRA Rwanda Revenue Authority or any other authority that can be in charge of uh, these assessments uh, from there under the self-assessment the taxpayer the taxpayer, uh, the taxpayer assesses, assesses him or herself, or him or herself uh, due, uh, him or herself due, and declares the tax to the administrator, and declares tax. Uh, to the administrator. Uh, while uh, while under the assessment by the tax administration, here the tax administrators uh, verifies uh, this uh, these administrators. Uh, these administrators verifies verifies the tax verifies the declarations made by the taxpayer the declarations made by the uh, by the tax uh, by the taxpayer uh, by the taxpayer, based on based on this, they can create the penalty, the penalties or not. Let us see what they call the notes of assessment. Uh, we have seen that the assessment needs to be done here can be the self assessment or the assessment made by the tax administrators. Uh, and this that is RRA. So therefore, we need to look at uh, what is the content of that notes of assessment or what is notes of assessment. Uh, the notes of assessment. The notes of assessment is just 
is a regal uh, is a regal document. Uh, is a regal document issued uh, issued by the tax administrators administration admini uh, administration uh, administration to the taxpayer to the taxpayer to the taxpayer uh, just uh, to the taxpayer uh, in order to recover the tax in order to recover uh, the tax the tax uh, in order to recover uh, the tax and the penalty to due and the penalty uh, the penalty is due that is in summary the meaning of notes of assessment and we need to uh, we need to first uh, ask ourselves why is it that the RRA or tax administration has to issue the notes of assessment so we need to know the rationale of this notes of assessment or the reasons of notes of assessment assessment reasons of notes of assessment so the reason is here the taxpayer declared the taxpayer declared uh, declared on time and uh, declared on time and paid on time So, paying on time and declaring on time, there's no problem with that. And I don't think that the tax administrators can issue that notes of assessment to you. But you might, you might do uh, the needful, you might do, uh, you might declare on time and pay on time, but they find out that you have understated uh, that tax. So, when it happens so, the notes of assessment can be issued. Another reason here uh, can be the indications or oh, taxpayer taxpayer uh, taxpayer declared uh, declared on time uh, declared on time uh, but paid late but delayed uh, delayed to pay. So that is a reason. Another reason can be the indications, indications of fraud, of fraud. Maybe what you declared is not, uh, yeah, what you declared is not what is indicated in the financial position. So when the taxpayers, when the tax administrators uh, suspect that there are some of the indications of the fraud in the financial statements you have submitted, that time you have to be issued the notes of assessment. The contents of the notes of assessment. The contents of notes of assessment. So number one content here, of course it should show the name of taxpayer. Uh, the name of taxpayer should show the TIN number of a taxpayer, the tax, the TIN number is tax identification, uh, identification, uh, the tax identification number. Uh, I think I uh, should uh, also show the type of tax, type of tax. Uh, the type of tax and tax period and tax uh, period we should show the uh, should show the declaration that you have made declaration declaration you made declaration show you made uh, it should show the date. Uh, it should show the 
uh, the declaration on which assessment is based. Declaration on which assessment assessment is based. Uh, I should also show. We should also show the address. Uh, I mean, we should also show the conditions of appeal. Conditions. Uh, the conditions of appeal. So maybe if the taxpayer wants to appeal uh, to the to the CG or to the Commissioner General of RRA, it should also show the address. Uh, it should also show the address of CG of Commissioner General. Uh, of Commissioner General, that is CG. So this is what is composed uh, in the notes of assessment. Rectification note uh, is issued uh, when there is maybe the miscalculations. Uh, miscalculation. Uh, when there is miscalculation uh, in the books of accounts, in the statements, when this, there is misrepresentation. Uh, when there is misrepresentation and when also there is maybe there is omissions omissions in the statements in the statements this is when the rectification note is issued it is also issued by the tax administration administrator to the tax uh, to the taxpayer, and uh, and in it is just a legal document. You can say it is a legal a document. It is legal document uh, issued issued to the tax. Uh, issued by the tax administrator issued by the tax administrator uh, to the uh, the administrator to, to the taxpayer taxpayer when there is uh, when there is miscalculation Miscalculation, uh, omissions, omissions, and uh, mis uh, misrepresentation and misrepresentation uh, of information provided by the taxpayer. Misrepresentation of information. Provided by tax pair. Sometimes, sometimes uh, these notes of assessment can be uh, the assessment can be done without notice. And why is it that this assessment uh, this assessment happens without a uh, without a notice? So uh, there are different reasons or different factors that relates to the issuance of assessment without notice. Like number one reason, uh, number one reason is uh, uh, the number one reason here can be if a taxpayer if taxpayer uh, declares a uh, rate, this can lead him to be uh, to be assessed without a notice. Uh, another thing, another reason, if there is no tax, uh, tax declarations, uh, if there are no tax declarations uh, have been made, if there are no tax declarations uh, made uh, by the tax, the taxpayer. Uh, another factor can be the 
the declarations are not accompanied if declarations uh, if declarations cannot be accompanied accompanied uh, by uh, by supporting documents by supporting by supporting uh, by supporting documents and what are these documents these documents again a uh, statement of financial position SFP uh, if there are no uh, the statement of uh, P and R and other comprehensive income uh, another statement there are no cash flow uh, statements uh, if there are no the rest of uh, rest of debtors, I mean, uh, yeah, rest of debtors. If it happens that the, what you have uh, submitted is missing the rest of uh, suppliers, uh, so it is C. So this can make uh, the RRA or the tax administrators to assess uh, without a notice. To a taxpayer. This takes us to another item uh, called audit and investigations. You may ask yourself, uh, what does the audit imply and what does the investigation imply in the context of taxation? So, uh, audit is the is the examination examination of uh, it is just examination of the taxpayers' records, of the taxpayers' uh, records, uh, taxpayers' uh, records, taxpayers' records to verify uh, to verify the compliance, uh, the compliance with. Uh, the compliance with the uh, tax laws. So that is the essence of uh, audit. Uh, while the investigation, the investigation here, the investigation, the investigation here, uh, is just the examination of taxpayers' records in order to verify address of certain information. Is examination is examination of of the tax of the taxpayer of the taxpayers uh, records of the taxpayers records or taxpayers books of account to verify uh, to verify the accuracy to verify the accuracy of uh, uh, the accuracy of uh, of the of just certain information to verify the accuracy of certain information of certain to verify the accuracy of certain information so this uh, these are the explanations of these two definitions, these two words I mean. So the audit and investigation. Here we examine the compliance uh, with the tax laws. We verify, um, we examine the books of accounts to verify the compliance with tax laws and international accounting standards of course. And here in investigation, we only examine the books of accounts for the purpose of verifying the accuracy of that kind of information or financial information of the company. So those are the uh, explanations. Conditions of the audit here. Number one, the taxpayer, uh, the taxpayer, uh, the taxpayer must must be informed. Uh, must be informed seven seven days before before they cut out before. They conduct 
the audit. Uh, the second one, here he must be informed the documents required during the audit. The taxpayer uh, must be informed about the about the required uh, the required documents the required uh, documents or books of accounts by uh, by the tax by the ODG team by audit uh, team another thing is the uh, another thing here is the the, the period of the audit will uh, he also must be informed the period of the audit uh, it will take he must be he must be informed the period the period of audit the period of the audit audit must be informed the period of audit or the period of time the audit is going to uh, uh, to take place and he also he must also uh, be informed the place where the audit will take place um, he or she also must be informed the place the press where uh, the audit audit uh, where the audit will take place uh, where the audit will take place whether uh, it is uh, from the taxpayers premises or it will go to the uh, tax administrator uh, administrator's uh, pre uh, premises or what they call the desk audit uh, so this takes us to the new item uh, sometimes the new audit can happen uh, in the same tax period a taxpayer a taxpayer here can be uh, re-audited in in the same in the same tax period in the same uh, tax period and in the same tax and in the same uh, in the same uh, tax and reason number one reasons of a uh, new audit the reason number one of new audit uh, is the new evidence new evidence evidence new evidence new evidence about discovered when considering an appeal new evidence discovered uh, during uh, during the uh, when considering discovered when considering uh, when considering when considering the uh, the an appeal when considering an appeal so in the process of accepting the appeal uh, the taxpayer uh, can choose uh, can uh, can be requested to be re-audited uh, again uh, another thing here is uh, the new evidence discovered discovered the new evidence discovered when considering an appeal payable when considering an appeal an appeal uh, payable when considering an appeal payable uh, another reason can be 
the taxpayer comes up with the new evidence. Taxpayer comes up uh, with the new uh, with the new evidence uh, with the new evidence uh, and the tax administrator and tax administrator and tax administrator here have further evidence have uh, further evidence have a uh, further ev evidence just to verify uh, those two evidences uh, another uh, factor can also be disproportionate penalties where disproportionate uh, disproportionate disproportionate uh, penalties uh, were applied during the audit uh, where were applied uh, during were applied during uh, the audit so those are the reasons uh, of new audit so here let's look at uh, here let's talk about the settlement of uh, disputes the settlement of disputes here is about resolving uh, resolving uh, just resolving the the conflict between taxpayer the conflict resolving the conflict between uh, between taxpayer uh, the taxpayer and tax administration and tax administrators so uh, here there are three ways of how uh, to resolve these uh, uh, these disputes how to settle these disputes so three ways are just you can see uh, three ways Num uh, there is uh, number one one number one way is amicable ways amicable uh, settlement the amicable settlement uh, judicial uh, there is also uh, the appeal appeal uh, to CG appeal to Commissioner General uh, there is there is uh, the judicial way there is the judicial uh, settlement settlement of disputes so here here when there's the conflict arises between the taxpayers and tax administrators they can sit together and uh, they sort out or they address those concerns uh, that are arising between them in amicable way or in peaceful ways so when solving these settlements uh, when solving these disputes amica prefers that is the time they can appeal to CG and they should appeal within 30 days the tax administrator I mean taxpayers can uh, can appeal within 30 days beyond 30 days the appeal expires so when the appeal to CG fails that is the time they can go to uh, they can go for litigation or they can go to courts so that is under the judicial uh, under the judicial uh, settlement so and we need to see uh, we need to look at the conditions of uh, an appeal the conditions of an appeal here uh, it is the an appeal must be in uh, must be in writing uh, that is number first the second uh, condition an appeal must show taxpayer's name and an appeal must show the taxpayer the taxpayer the taxpayer's name the taxpayer's name and the team 
another thing, another condition where I can talk of, he must, the anarchy must show the tax period and the types of tax. It must show the, uh, it must show the tax period, the tax period and type of, uh, the type of tax. Uh, another condition uh, here can be the, it should show the grounds, show the grounds or the reasons, the grounds and appeal, the grounds, uh, the ground, the grounds for appeal, should show the reasons for an appeal, the grounds for appeal, or uh, the, the why, uh, why are you making an appeal, or the evidences. Uh, that bugs you up to uh, to place an appeal. So another another uh, ground another uh, another condition here can be the CG must provide uh, CG or the Commissioner General must provide uh, must provide uh, a response within thirty days. A response. A response within uh, 30 days which which can also be can also be extended extended to to 60 days to 60 days um, I think if he doesn't that means that the taxpayer is right if the CG doesn't provide a response within 30 days, uh, which can also be extended to 60 days, that means that the taxpayer has won the case or has won the an appeal, uh, or the taxpayer is right actually.